Come on and get on down to the city, city. where the trains all clatter through. Hey, look at that driver driving. I want to ride that train on blue. Me too. I'm looking way up high to the windy. Take a peek from inside view. All those people busy working. Busy working. I want to see what they all do. Come on, let's be round the market. Do you hear that color blue? Everybody's busy selling. I want to buy me something new. Look through the arches under the station, down where the pigeons perch and coo. Take a taxi ride to the river. I want to drive down the avenue. Hey, look at those buses gleaming. They look so clean and spanking new. All lined up to drive around the city. What man ting that bell to the loo? I'm gonna ride on right to the school stop where the children hurry through. Sit down, the teacher's teaching. I'd love to learn a thing or two. Me too. I love to skip and river sea thing. Go river sea Five o'clock. Come on and get on down to the city, city. where the fairy boat sails the blue. Time to call on Granny Murray. Hi, hi. She'd love to say hello to you. Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. <laughs> who's here today? Well. We've got Zane and we've got a deal. But don't just sit there, my angels. Come on, let's get busy. What's on our shelves today? Oh, yay! <laughs> oh, oh, there's a link too. Well, we've got a deal and we've got Zane. Someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. <laughs> Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, kiss Bobby. Yes, with Kai. Bobby, Hi, hello. And Kai, my pickle. That's a good boy. Oh, wow. This looks like fun. Oh, yes, it is. But guess what I'm doing with the children later? Um, I don't know, Granny Murray. Watching telly? No. We're going to the castle to watch the fireworks. Oh, yes, of course. It, it's tonight, isn't it? Yes. Oh, here, darling, why don't you dress Claude up, ready for the fireworks and nice warm clothes. <laughs> and uh, we could go and take a nice warm seat over there. Oh, good idea. <laughs> Granny Murray, do you think that it's all right for Kai to go to the festival firework display? Oh, well, yes. Why not? Well, he might get scared by all the loud bangs. It's just that when I was little, I was woken up in the middle of the night by a firework display right outside my house. Oh, were you frightened? Yeah. I didn't know what all the noise was. There was all these loud bangs and whooshes and flashes and... Oh, what happened then? Well, I burst into tears and my mum came rushing up the stairs to see what the matter was. She told me, you know, there was nothing to be frightened of. It was just the fireworks. And then she took me to the window and, and we watched the fireworks outside. I stopped crying then. <laughs> you see, it just goes to show, Dumpling, as long as you understand what's happening, there's nothing to worry about. So, will you explain to Kai all about the fireworks and... Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, oh. Will you look at Claude? He looks ready for the firework display. <laughs> oh, you're looking nice and warm there, Claude. <laughs> right, well, I'd better get off to work. Bye-bye, Kai. There you go, Mummy. Oh, wow! My very own sparkler toy. Thanks, Kai. I'm going to take that to work with me. OK, I'll see you in the morning. Mwah. <laughs> oh, I've just had a thought, Granny Murray. Mm -hmm. If Kai's going to be going to bed late, he might get a bit hungry. Oh, don't worry about that. Dr Juno's coming round later to fry up some sausages on the barbecue. Oh, I am a fusspot, aren't I? <laughs> right, bye, darling. Come on. Bye. Now remember, there is nothing to fear when you know and understand. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way 
to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walk in time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Oh, OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Oh, hello, digger. Hello, drain. Hello, lamppost. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me. Showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Right, what's first? That's right, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Crumbs, what a grubby bus. Looks like I'm going to be busy tonight. No, Samson, these aren't for you. Hello, Dr. Do you know? Hello, Bobby. Hello, Samson. <laughs> what are you after then? Well, he hasn't had his tea yet and he can smell the sausages. Sausages? Oh, yes. I remember Granny Murray saying that you were going to go around and cook sausages after the fireworks. That's right. Oh, I was wondering what kind of sausages Kai likes. Well, Kai likes any sausages he likes them all. So he hasn't got any allergies, has he? Anything that brings him out in a rash? No, no, don't worry, Dr. Do you know? Kai doesn't have any allergies. Thanks, Bobby. I'm going to go over to Granny Murray's. I'm going to make sure that Kai gets an extra special Barbie. Oh, thanks, Dr. Juno. <laughs> Come on, Samson. Bye, Samson. Come on. <sighs> God, I wonder if Kai has left to see the fireworks yet. I love to skip in River Seeping, River Seeping, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Seeping, go River Seeping, go that's for me. Ooh. Is everybody toasty warm? Yes, <laughs> Are we ready to go and see the fireworks? Yay! Ooh, spooky wookie! <laughs> now, listen to this, darling. There's nothing to be scared about. It's just loud bangs. If you're scared with any of the noise at the fireworks, then you just hold Granny Murray's hand, OK? I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo. Oh, I hope you won't be too frightened by all the loud bangs, Kai. Right, time for me to get on with some work. Evening, Bobby. Oh, hello, Mickey J. What are you doing here? I'm off to see the festival fireworks, actually, but I knew you'd be working, so I brought in some spicy sausages for you to nibble at while you're working. Oh, thanks. Oh, they smell lovely. I do like a bit of spice in my life. <laughs> It's a shame you're not going to be able to see the fireworks. Oh, I know, but if I don't work, then where does the money come from, eh? You're right. No, actually, stand here a moment, Bobby. Stand here. Now, uh, bend down. Bend down. Now, stand on tiptoes. <sighs> Castley's over there. There, you'll see everything. I can't see a thing. That's because the fireworks haven't started yet. But when they do, you'll have a grandstand view. Oh, that is fantastic! Nice one, Mickey J. <laughs> see you later. Oh, bye, Mickey J. That is brilliant. OK, well, if I want to have time to watch those fireworks, I'd better get my work done. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming bus. While you're in bed, gleaming while you're sleeping. 
The day away, swing into the city, looking pretty and radiant. The hot caps gleam, the paintwork shines. A river sea double decker looks so fine. The driver she drives, collecting the fares. Leaving then arriving, she will get you there. This boss is stopping, dropping, picking up and putting down. This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town. And Bobby Boogie Woogie slipping over, flipping under. Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder. Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. <sighs> Job done. Well, hey, it's the fireworks. They've started. <laughs> <laughs> it's Samson. Well, he was scared of the fireworks and he ran away because he didn't understand what was going on. So, have you seen him? Um, Samson? Uh -huh. No, no, sorry, Tina. <laughs> oh, did you see that one? Oh, dear. Never mind. I'll go and ask Ruddy and Louie. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I hope you're watching, Kai. There's no need to be scared of those loud bangs. This granny body, it's the grand finale. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I wonder if your mum's been watching them too, Kai. Oh, what an amazing festival firework display! I hope you had a good view too, Kai. Right, I think it's time for me to have a cuppa and some of Mickey John's spicy sausages. What was that? Who's there? Is there someone in here? <gasps> Look at this mess! Right. Whoever you are, I want you to know that I have just cleaned this place from top to bottom. What is going on? Where did the time go? At five o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's. The children dressed up Claude in warm clothes because they were all off to the castle to see the festival fireworks. I was worried that Kai might be scared of the loud bangs and not understand what was happening. But Granny Murray said she'd hold his hands and tell him what was going on. At six o'clock, I got to work. There was a lot of mess to clean up. Dr Juno called by with Samson to check whether Kai liked sausages. At eight o'clock, Mickey John popped in with some special spicy sausages just for me. He worked out where I could stand to get a good view of the firework display, even though I was at work. At 10 o'clock, the fireworks started. I went out to watch them. Then Tina arrived in her taxi. Samson had run off because he didn't understand what was going on and he was scared of the fireworks. At 11 o'clock, I watched the last big fireworks bang and pop and fizz. Then something in the bus depot started making loud crashes and clatters. The depot was a mess. I was scared. Now remember, there is nothing to fear when you know and understand. OK, all right, calm yourself down, Bobby. Just try to understand what is going on and then, well, you'll stop worrying. Hang on. Tina said that Samson got scared by the fireworks and he ran away. And, well, this is exactly the sort of mess that a dog would make. So, it, it must be Samson. He must be hiding somewhere here in the depot. OK, we've got to find him. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she will finish, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat that clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Good dog, Samson. Oh, 
Oh, you were worried, weren't you? Because you didn't understand what was going on. But it was only the loud pops and bangs from the fireworks. <sighs> now that he understands what's happening, he isn't scared anymore. And nor am I. Oh, thank goodness you found Samson! Everyone was so worried. So was I, for a while. <laughs> until I realised it was just Samson. Right, let's get you back to Granny Murray's. And to Dr Juno's sausages. Off you go, Samson. Come on, <laughs> dog. Oh, and tell Kai I'll see him in the morning. Will do. <laughs> Come on, boy. OK, clearing up time. I hope you're going to enjoy those sausages, Kai. scared you. Oh, I think he understands now. Especially when he sees the sausage I've kept for his tea. <laughs> oh. 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 I think we'll get you tucked in in a wee minute, won't we? And Mummy will be back in the morning to pick you up. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Oh, you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thank you, Granny Murray. Clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. There is nothing to fear when you know and understand. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on. You'd better be off. Come on, you. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was packing, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, sharing, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in warm clothes so that he was ready to see the festival fireworks display. Bobby was worried that Kai would be scared by the loud noises of the fireworks. I told Bobby that I would explain all about them. A bit later, me and the children tested our torches. Ooh, scary. <laughs> then I took the children to see the festival fireworks. They were fantastic! But the noise of the fireworks frightened Samson and he ran away. Samson hid in Bobby's bus depot when he made a bit of a mess. Bobby found Samson by following his painty paw prints and told him about the fireworks. Then Samson wasn't frightened anymore. Dr Juno was so pleased to find Samson again that she gave him some of her sausages for his tea. Do you like this toy? <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie.